hello hello everyone happy tuesday welcome back to another vlog it is a one week countdown until we leave for our big anniversary trip so we need to start packing and get prepped and prep the house we need to close the pool this week so i'm gonna take you guys along i need to start packing i've got clothes to try on so it's gonna be a fun one today's gonna be a heavy computer work day though so i just want to start you guys off i'm going to get today's vlog up we're gonna record the podcast and then we'll cook dinner together later i just set up shop in the office i've got my ice roller i'm all propped up with ice in my sock i got benji here with me i've been really loving like a quick subtle little something on my face in the morning i will link it down below i don't know exactly what it's called but it's by elf and it's like i think it's called woe glow and i just like rub that all over my face and i feel like it gives me like a nice little you know little pop and then just a tiny bit of mascara and i feel like a lot more put together and productive for the day so yeah feeling good but i will be sitting here so i'll come back to you guys later and we have hello fresh to cook and it looks delicious, so I'm excited for that. But first, work. Bella's not really like a lap cat. She's always next to me, but never like directly on my lap. And these last two days, she's just come up and laid right in my lap. It's the cutest thing. And she purrs, and it just makes my heart so happy. It makes computer work so much better. He's so sweet. <laughs> I can't even begin to tell you what time it is right now, but what I can tell you is that it's HelloFresh time. I literally sat at the computer all day, but I got everything done, so I am a happy girl. I am so hungry, so I'm so grateful that I already have HelloFresh in the fridge that has a meal already thought out for me. I don't have to measure anything. I just need to read and chop and cook. So thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. If you've never heard of it, it is a meal kit delivery service. They send pre-portioned ingredients in these nice little bags straight to your door. You get a recipe card with all of your recipes. It shows you what it should look like. It gives you all the ingredients and you've got your easy steps right on the back. Having a crazy schedule and being busy all the time can really cause you to fall into that recipe rut of just making the same boring things all the time. So with HelloFresh, there's always something exciting and fun and new. They have over 40 recipes every single week. These are all chef crafted recipes and they use in season ingredients. So everything travels from the farm right to your door in peak ripeness. So you can really taste all of those fresh fresh flavors. It really is a no-brainer because they have something for everybody. They even have quick and easy options that get homemade fresh dinner on your table in 15 minutes. That is literally less time than it takes to get food delivery to your house. They also have delicious fall add-ons like barbecue pulled pork nachos or mini pumpkin cheesecakes. I need to try those. So let me run you through all the ingredients and we're gonna get to chopping and get to cooking. Here's what we're making tonight. This looks absolutely phenomenal. I cannot wait. So we've got two zucchinis, two onions, two long green peppers, two cans of corn, half an ounce of cilantro, 12 flour tortillas, two Roma tomatoes, one cup of cheddar cheese, two teaspoons of cumin, two teaspoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of oregano, and nine tablespoons of sour cream. Mmm, my favorite. Oh, also let me just add that this is the four person serving because Zane and I like to have leftovers for lunch the next day. Highly recommend if it's just the two of you. Wow, stunning, beautiful, gorgeous. We are all prepped and we are ready to cook. Let's get a drizzle of oil going. And I have that on a medium high. Check it out, I got my ingredients with me at all times. <laughs> Lay all you want, this basket has been very convenient. It has helped me have things with me all the time and I don't have to carry them. It's been very nice. We went ahead and pat dried the two cans of corn with paper towels. 
This is gonna go for two to four minutes until it has like a nice light char on it. All right, I boosted my heat up to a high and get it charred. Okay, ready? Check out the corn. She is charred lightly, nice light char. Now we're gonna add our onion, green pepper, and by the way, we're back down to a medium heat. Next up, zucchini, more zucchini, more zucchini, and one more zucchini. Next we've got our cumin, garlic powder, and the oregano, nice big drizzle of oil. And we're gonna hit it with the salt and pepper. And now this is gonna go for four to six minutes until everything's nice and soft. Oh my God, this smells phenomenal. While that's going, I'm doing a little bit of research on this dish because I've never heard of it before, but it's called calabacitas. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. But it's a Mexican dish and it translates to little squash, which is so cute. So it's sauteed zucchini or squash, corn, tomatoes, and peppers. It says it can be served as a side dish or a main. Really interesting. I'm here for it. I love learning about new recipes and trying new recipes from all different cultures. It's so fun. You guys know me and my veggies. So anything that's just like full of vegetables, I love. All right, now we're going to add our tomatoes. Now we're gonna add three quarters of a cup of water. And it says for four servings to work in batches. So I'm just gonna do some of it and then we'll do a little more. And we're gonna let this start to kind of thicken up. Okay, we are already almost done. I'm so happy. All right, now we're gonna add in all of our sour cream. I hope mine didn't come out too watery. Wow, beautiful, stunning, gorgeous. Let's mix that up. I wrapped my tortillas in a wet paper towel. I'm just gonna go ahead and microwave this for 30 seconds. <laughs> And now, the most exciting part, we're gonna cover it in cheese. Here is my finished product. We're about to plate, folded up my tortillas all cute like they have in the picture. We're gonna top it with some cilantro and then also it says if you want, you can top it with hot sauce. So I'll probably put a little Cholula on there because I love my Cholula. Hopefully it's not too watery. I hope I did okay. Either way, it's gonna taste delicious. I'm eating for one tonight, so I'm gonna pack up all of our leftovers while I plate mine. Okay, so I definitely think it's not supposed to be as liquidy, but I still think it looks great. I'm gonna use the extra liquid that's in the pan for the ones that I'm gonna put away because it'll like soak it up, you know? And I don't wanna get rid of all that flavor or the sour cream. All right, let's not forget our cilantro. Yum. And I'm gonna put a little Cholula on mine right now. This is a great dish to meal prep. It's very easy to split up. I'm sure it's great reheated. Let's try it. That was a lot on my ankle. So I'm in the bedroom with it propped an ice in my sock. Woo! But we made it through and I'm ready to give it a try. Here's my finished product. It looks pretty good, right? Oh, when I was cutting the peppers though, sometimes when it gets like under your nail and it like burns, it's the worst. I don't know if it's traditionally meant to be like grabbed kind of like naan with like Pakistani and Indian food or if you're supposed to fill it like a taco. I'm gonna fill it though, just for ease and mess. Let's see, cheers. Mmm, yum. I mean, what's not to like? All the ingredients are phenomenal. I think it would be perfect with just a touch of finishing salt on top. And I think Zane will be home from tennis any moment now, so I don't have to get back up to get it. But, so yummy. If you guys want to try out HelloFresh for yourself, I have a discount for you. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code AlyssaRose16 for 16 free meals plus free shipping. That offer is for new subscriptions only and varies by plan across nine boxes. That's code AlyssaRose16 at HelloFresh.com for 16 free meals. You can also go ahead and just click the link right at the top of my description. I'm gonna go eat and enjoy some TV now. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. I've got on my eye patches and we're starting the morning. My mornings have been slow, just been moving slow, <laughs> but it's okay as long as we're moving. I'm gonna do a quick little tidy up on the kitchen. I did not clean up after dinner last night because it was late. And then we're gonna work out.
guys, sorry, I literally haven't talked to you all day. To be fair, Zane was filming a YouTube video, and if you don't know, he's a music producer, so, you know, it was, like, loud, and I was like, I might as well get some computer work done. So that's what I've done all day. We did the podcast, last episode recorded now before I leave. We just recorded so many episodes so that you guys had them for when I was gone. I got so many packages in the mail today of so many random things, so we're gonna do a nice big haul tomorrow. I need a refresh. I need to ice my ankle right now. I've been walking on it a lot today, but it's feeling better. It's a lot less swollen. When it first happened, it was like a golf ball. Now, definitely that has gone down. So I think I'm taking care of it correctly. Zane and I had hello fresh leftovers for lunch and then I literally had a turkey sandwich and chips for dinner. And now I have some Costco edamame, just steamed it in the microwave, put some fresh salt on top. It's so good. Mm. Tomorrow, my dad is coming over after work and him and Zane are going to winterize the house for before we leave, close up the pool, winterize our sprinkler system, all that fun stuff. I think mom's gonna swing by too. So it's gonna be a Thursday and I need to take off this mascara because clearly I forgot that I was wearing it and I've been rubbing it on my eyes. I'm Hot Mess Express. It's been so long since I've exfoliated and tanned. Tomorrow is actually two weeks and I usually do it every week. Anyways, just wanted to give you a little update. I'm watching The Bear on Hulu because I literally watched the first season and then completely forgot about it. I, I don't know how, I just forgot. So now I'm on episode four of season two. I really do like this show. I think I just got like engulfed in books and like Love is Blind and other things. I literally just forgot about it. So I'm really enjoying that. So that is it for now. I will come back to you guys tomorrow when we have some more interesting stuff. Good morning, it's a new dawn, it's a new day. Do we like my headband? It's good for keeping my hair out of my face. We've got things that we gotta get done today. The sun is shining, it is gorgeous out. Gonna open up some windows, get on some makeup, and get this day started. Let's do it. Let's do our morning gratefuls. I managed to layer on some tanner on my face and on here down on my arms because I have to try clothes on today. So I didn't want to look super pale on camera. You gotta do what you gotta do in the winter. Also, I don't know if I ever showed you guys this, but Zane's mom made me this shirt. Isn't that adorable? I love. Today we are grateful for nice weather, edamame, and my ankle feeling better. Slowly but surely, I'm having hope. All right, I'm almost done with my makeup. I've got my headband in another color. <laughs> I haven't been vibing with eyeshadow I've been doing lately, so I just took the bronzer that I use on my cheeks and put a little bit on my eyelids and kept it really simple because I feel like that's more the vibe. I feel like I'm gonna like this a little better, a little more natural. Last step is lashes and I got these from Amazon, so I figured might as well give them a try today. I have some stuff to film, so... We're gonna try out these magnetic lashes. I've tried magne magnetic lashes once before and I remember liking them. It came with a ton of them and we are not going super dramatic today. So I'm gonna pick like the most natural one. Probably like this guy right here. Maybe this one. I definitely need to cut off a little bit because I don't want a full strip. Let's go with that natural one. I'm gonna do the second to last. These are from Amazon. They have really good reviews. So let's try them out. Okay, yeah, they're way too long. So I'm gonna chop off some. I'm gonna chop off one magnet. Okay, I think that's gonna be much better. I'm gonna do the other one as well. <laughs> it magneted to the scissor, that's funny. I could keep these actually. I am gonna keep these because now they're little individuals. If I just want a little pop on like the end, I can keep these little pieces. My camera battery is dying, which is just nowadays very difficult because it takes me so long to get from one room to the next. So it just says to shake it up and apply two coats. I suck at eyeliner, but I'm gonna try to do it really nice and thin because I don't want it to look like I have eyeliner on. I just want it to use it for like the magnetic purposes. So let's see if we can go in with a really light hand. Oh no, that's not terrible. I messed up a little bit on the end. That's not bad. I will take that. Let's do one more dip. We'll do the other eye and then we'll layer the two layers. The last strip will cover if I messed up, you know, but not too bad. Let that dry off a little bit. And we'll do one more coat. I feel like I have to go in with confidence, like. The sound effects help. I wish that this eyeliner was brown so it wasn't as obvious if you mess up. I feel like brown is a lot more subtle. I got it right here, but that's it. We did pretty good. And you can reuse these. You just clean off the little magnets so that it sticks. Let's see. I wonder if I let it dry enough. Actually, I don't know why I'm struggling because they literally gave me this little guy. Okay, ready? We're getting somewhere. I didn't put the liner in enough, but I also don't think I even want them in that much. So I might cut a little more off, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna cut off one more. I think this will be better. I like a more like subtle, natural vibe. I mean, I think I did it. Sorry, my camera died, but I feel like we could definitely do better. I could have been a little more heavy handed with the eyeliner so that they stick a little bit better. For now, they're okay. I'm just staying at home and filming stuff. So I don't need them to look perfect, but it came out decent. I feel like 
from a distance not too bad i threw a few really quick like loose curls in my hair just to give a little bit of texture and now i am unwrapping this clothing haul that i want to show you guys from vici they sent over some items these are so soft wow and i am so excited to try them all on we need to start packing for the trip today tomorrow ish and this haul that i have is items that I, I would like to bring them all if they all fit so I'm gonna get them all on hangers and I'm gonna get them sitting over here on my little pull out bar on my shoe shelf I love this thing it's so nice for things like this where it's like all right I want to hang up all the items that I want to try on right now and it makes a nice easy spot to put it all and I have so many boxes in here to open with you guys mostly Amazon some PR I think I'm gonna do this clothing haul first just because it's the most like physically demanding part <laughs> and then we'll do all the other stuff Oh, this is so cute. I've been wanting stuff from Vici for so long. I've never had anything from them and I was gonna purchase and they were nice enough to send. So this might be the new jam. I am so excited. How cute is that? Oh, beautiful. All right, here is everything that we have to look forward to and unbox. And I have to try on all these clothes hanging here. It's gonna be fun. But first your girl needs to take a quick lunch break so I can fuel up something quick and easy and then we'll be back. Oh my god, look. I accidentally made faces. I didn't even realize that. That one's smiling and that one's like oh. <laughs> I just did some toast with butter, Costco egg white bites, and just a little bit of deli turkey meat. Okay, it's literally 3.04 and I'm already losing daylight in my closet room. Tis the season. I'll have to start prioritizing filming in the morning. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. I just do vlogs. But for outfit videos, I would like nice lighting, you know? I'm just not a big fan of like the artificial lights, you know? Anyways, all right, let's try on these clothes. Let's hope it doesn't take me forever. So huge thank you and shout out to Vici for sending me some amazing items. So let's hope it all works. I'm gonna try these on first. I'm most excited about these jeans. I tried to look at reviews and see if I should like size up or anything. So I got my normal size 26. It's gonna take me a little long to change, which is annoying. So let's see what I can do. Although I'm getting better and better every day. I'm feeling better. It's getting easier to walk on, that's for sure. And put weight on that leg. I feel way more comfortable doing that now. These are good because they're wide leg jeans. So I can definitely walk around with my brace on and you wouldn't even see it. Depending on my doctor's instructions, I'm going to see if... Oh, I think these are going to fit. I'm going to see if I can walk around if I want to. Like depending on how my healing is going. If I can walk around without my brace. With certain outfits, it would be definitely nice. And I don't... I have to try on some shoes. But I don't know if I'm going to fit in a lot of my shoes with the brace on. Oh, these are cute. Let me just throw on this top so I look like I have an outfit on. Hold on. Okay, okay. Here's outfit number one. Here are the jeans. I actually do have a little bit of space up here by the waist. So if I really wanted to, I could get that taken in a little bit. But I think it's nice to have a little bit of extra room, especially if I'm going to be wearing these you know, touristy, eating a lot of food. We want some room for the belly. So I think that this might be good, even though I definitely have some spacing, but I think that they're so cute. They actually fit really well. Look at me moving around. I'm so proud of myself. Here's the back. Like, I think if they were taken in a little bit, they'd be a little bit more flattering. I'm getting a little bit of fabric right here. Overall, what I really wanted was just a comfortable pair of jeans. No rips, very plain and simple, wide leg at the bottom. They're like a medium kind of wash. Love, and then this sweater is adorable. I'll put down what size I got and everything in the description. I think this is a small. But yeah, I'm usually a 26 in jeans. All my other jeans are 26. So I would say these are pretty true to size. If you want them really fitted, then maybe size down one. Other than that, love. Also, I will add that I'm 5'1". And this is the length on me. I think with shoes, it would be totally... Ah, oh, I can't go on my tippy toes. I think with shoes, it would be totally fine. Like the length isn't too bad. I'm just undecided. I don't know if I should size down <laughs> or just leave them a little baggy. I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna base it off of if I have anything else that doesn't fit me, then I'll exchange it. I'm gonna make that decision after because I feel like the gaping, it just doesn't look good. So anyways, all right, next item. I want this to work so bad. It is a denim skirt. It's got a slit in the front. It's a maxi skirt. It's like a big trend right now and I'm loving it. So we're gonna hope that this one works and fits. The waist looks a little small, but I also thought that the waist on these jeans looked small and I have space. So I got this in an extra small per the reviews. I'm usually a small in bottoms. So let's try. I'm gonna truth. Can I get it past my butt? Ugh. 
tight squeeze, but we got it. Okay. Okay. I think it fits. It's cute. There we go. I had to move it down a little. How am I going to do this with the brace? I'm going to take it off. Dedication. I actually feel okay without the brace right now. I'm going to have Zane grab my wannabe Burks throw those on just so it doesn't look like I'm wearing socks. I can't take my socks off because my foot is so bruised. It'll look so bad. Wow, I almost feel like better without the brace. Uh, let's let's not get crazy now. Are you, you want the chanclas? My Burks. The wannabe Burks. <laughs> the white ones? No, the chanclas. These are Burks. They're wa uh, wannabes. I thought Birkenstocks didn't look like this. <laughs> Easy, Tyga. You don't have your brace on? No. Okay. I got the Burks on. This might be a little too long for me since I'm so short, so maybe it has like a raw hem at the bottom, so maybe I'll literally just cut it a little bit. Okay, this is not Vici's fault at all, but I did myself dirty on the sizing. I think I read the reviews and these I sized up in and they're way too big. So these I definitely need to go down. I got a 27 um, and they're just, yeah, they're way too big. And then they're also really long too, which is fine, which is normal. I would just get them tailored at the bottom. But I love these. They're so soft and so comfortable and so cute. But I absolutely need to size down. Which is unfortunate because there's no way that will happen in time before I leave. So these cannot come with. Honestly, I'm okay with that though because I feel like these are more like a vibe, like a streetwear vibe that I would wear at home. I'm just going for a more like sleek style when we go away. So, okay, that's fine. We tried. <laughs> okay, I had high hopes for this one and it is doing its job. This is a little sweater dress. I think it's so cute. Don't look at my cast in the mirror reflection. I actually really like it on its own, but I did get this belt, which the model was wearing it with. And this reminds me of those TikToks people are making right now. It says like wearing versus styling. Like this, I would just be wearing it. But if I get a belt and like a nice purse, then we're styling it. How does this belt work? Oh, okay. So it goes in here and it goes in this side. All right, so here it is with the belt. I have to figure out what to do here though. I need like a little thing to keep it in place. So cute though, I love this. I think the weather's gonna be perfect for this. Picture it with some cute shoes. I don't know if I can get any on. I need to figure that out though because I need to pack shoes and I don't know what I can wear. Hopefully by the time we leave, I can like bend my foot a little bit more to get it more comfortably into a shoe. Otherwise, I don't know what I'm gonna wear yet. But I do feel like that makes it a little easier because if I wasn't hurt, I would have to pack literally every shoe because I would feel like I need so many options so if my options are limited kind of helps me out a bit you know what i like even better than the belt this little bag as a belt bag like walking around being touristy how cute is this i love that and then the belt could be like nighttime you know but this like during the day so cute all right last two pieces i got these like really comfy but like going out pants like they look nice but they're really comfortable they're supposed to be cropped but on me they're full length which is what i wanted <laughs> So if you're any taller than 5'1", these are supposed to like sit higher, you know, like on the ankle. Really soft and buttery. Those are a win. And then lastly, I got a cropped denim jacket because I only have like a long oversized one. And sometimes for an outfit, that just doesn't fit what you got going on. So we're going to try this one on. This is cute. So it actually goes shorter in the front and then a little longer in the back, but still not too long. The sleeves are a little bit long, but I think it's supposed to be like that oversized vibe. And it's really cute. I think I just didn't realize how long it went in the back. So I definitely still want one that's like cropped all the way around to wear. I feel like for stuff like this, like these pants, you know, it looks better back there than like slouchy, I feel like. I don't know. It depends on the vibe you're going for, I guess. But this is still really cute. I'll definitely still wear this. Okay, well, that was fun. Now we're moving on to all these boxes that I have over here. Some Amazon, some other stuff. I got this from Amazon. <laughs> color looks so different online. But I also have it coming in white. It's not here yet. But let's see what this color looks like. Maybe it's not a horrible thing, but it's like a light orange. It's supposed to be like a beigey kind of color. Mm. It had really good reviews. Everyone said it felt like a blanket, which it is very, very soft. The sleeves are cute, but I just don't think this color is doing it for me. Not at all. I think this is going to be a pass. It's kind of almost too similar to my skin color, kind of. I don't know. I'm going to move all this, too. I feel like it's quite distracting. Okay. I'm going to pass on this one, but it is coming in white, and I think that's going to be much better than this color. I just threw on this basic black tee, and I feel like these pants look really cute with black. Okay, next. I have these yoga pants in black and I love them. They're the perfect length. So I wanted my favorite color, chocolate brown. However, they only have the crisscrossy ones in this color. So I'm hoping that they're high-waisted enough because I don't really like a mid-rise. But I do like this cut. I think it's flattering as long as it's higher up. So let's see. 
these are so buttery soft like you would think you paid so much money for these oh my god and they're high-waisted yes you guys need pants from this brand they're called fire swan they're on my amazon store i always link everything down in the description you guys know i'll make sure i put them at the front because you guys need any color any style they are so buttery they are so flattering and for us short girls the length is so good actually these are a little bit longer than my other ones but still they're fine you just like pull the fabric up just a little bit they're sitting right on the ground yeah i'm obsessed i'm literally gonna bring these with me i will wear these with like uggs and a sweater walking around i think that's so cute and these are perfect because you won't be able to see my brace so i can just wear shoes and it would look so cute the wide leg is just amazing so i love these 10 out of 10 here's what they look like in the mirror literally amazing i will take the tag off right now they literally feel like lululemon quality like they're so buttery i'm trying to take pictures and videos in this mirror and it's literally just making me notice how disgustingly dirty it is and i was gonna try and just make it work but you know I just don't want to have to write it when I post something and be like, yeah, I know, I need to clean my mirror. <laughs> so we're going to just actually clean it. So I may or may not have impulsively bought another pair of Uggs because I'm obsessed. I am so happy that Uggs have made the comeback that they have. Not that I, like, I mean, I did. I did stray away from wearing them because they weren't trendy or cute anymore. And now the fact that everyone is obsessed, I'm so here for it because low-key, I was kind of sad that I couldn't wear my Uggs anymore. <laughs> not couldn't. You know what I mean? Like, I just didn't because I was young and I was like, oh, they're not cool anymore, so I'm not going to wear mine. But it's like, literally wear whatever you want. But I miss them because they're so warm and comfy. I love them. They're so convenient. And I love the classic minis. I haven't gotten into the uh, platform. I just don't think it would look very cute on me. And I don't like the ultra minis either. I like the regular classic mini. These are the classic minis. I have them in black. And then I have the Tasman slippers in mustard seed. And then I got these in chestnut. So they're like a very like warm brown color. So now I have like all three colors. It's just perfect. I love the minis. I think they're so cute. I have to try on the platforms. I honestly never have. I just, I don't know. I'm not obsessed with the look of them. I'm more of just a regular Ugg boot kind of gal. So let's put it on. Oh my God, I love this color. I didn't love it so much in the Tasmans. That's why I wanted mustard seed, which is just like a very light brown but I love them in these. And I just got six, which is my normal size. Oh my God, they're literally so cute. Like, are you kidding? I feel like all Uggs are a little bit snug at first, but once you wear them and the lining, you know, presses down and they stretch out a little bit, then they fit perfect. Like I've been wearing my Tasman slippers around the house. Well, I can't really get this foot in with the brace on. So I'm gonna have to put them on without the brace, but they're already fitting better. I'm just like breaking them in. And I got shoe stretchers, which helped a lot. But these, oh. These are like the perfect brown. I love. I'm going to show you my Tasmans just for color reference. Hold on. Oh my God. Wait, even better. What? What are you doing in that bag? <laughs> she fully climbed into it. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Here are black, obviously, and then the mustard seed color, and then this is chestnut. I actually also have these in regular Uggs, which the mini... Benji, I'm trying to talk to them. I'm like, welcome to my Ugg collection. I have these chestnut ones in, like, the longer length, which right now these are, like, very popular, which I do love, but literally I will still wear these. I don't care because they're so comfy and warm, but these have, like, the little button on the side. I like these also because you can roll them down, and I think that looks literally so cute like then it looks like the minis but you just have a thing of fur around them so if you own uggs and you don't have this highly recommend it's only 15 bucks on amazon and i wore my fake birkenstocks because they're like a suede material want to be suede in the rain and i didn't get any rain marks on them so this stuff really works i sprayed all my uggs with it so i'm gonna spray my new ones now and now we have a beautiful collection i just really need to figure out how to get my foot into these you know i don't think it's going to be warm enough in italy to wear uggs but our other destination seems like it's going to be a little colder so which i'm keeping a surprise but if you guys follow me on instagram you probably would have seen it okay i'm literally like bending over like talking to you guys like why what is wrong with me? i mean i guess i could just wear my higher ones and like fold them down when i want to wear them down and then if i want to put them under a pant i could just fold them up i mean you could definitely tell but i do like wearing these with leggings and then like a little white sock popping out me trying to justify that i i just i like dogs okay <laughs> i'm trying to justify it also i literally ordered these on amazon because i didn't want to have to wait for them to get shipped and amazon said it would come for prime so i literally ordered these two days ago because i'm impatient so and they were actually i think ten dollars cheaper on amazon so happy about that 
you just hold it like six inches away and you make it wet but not soaking wet and then you let them dry for 24 hours and that's it now your boots are protected okay next amazon box i hope this is what i think it is okay no it's a bunch of random stuff like look at this box with these little items in it okay well the two items in here i got us a pack of little travel toothbrushes and mini toothpastes and then i also got this very portable tripod it's a little heavy but this is what it looks like so you can put it in like a purse or something it's kind of scary kind of looks like a weapon but you can like easily unfold it so you can take pictures and stuff and since zane and i are going to be traveling alone if we want pictures of us i feel like this is really nice to have with us so i can like set it up and take a picture of the two of us so you just push it and then you just pull it out so easy wow i actually would use this at home but does my phone fit in it? Let's see. Love Me? Me. Hi. Have you heard from your dad? No, have you? No, I texted him. I told him um, I'm going to start prepping now. Okay. I asked him what time he's coming because I have to leave by like 7.45. Uh oh. Wait, come look at this tripod I got. My phone fits. Ready? Ow. Ow. Oh my god. It condenses so much. I'm trying not to hurt myself though. Yeah, be careful. No way. Oh my god, that's insane. Cool, right? Yeah. And it has like a selfie button thing. I'm assuming you're gonna bring that with you? Yeah, because nice. if we're alone, then we can take pictures together. Mm hmm You know? 100%. I could, hopefully it fits in here. With my camera and my phone. I don't know. Looks like a weapon though, I'm kind of scared. It does look like a baton. Come on. So close. It's all right, we'll figure it out. Don't break your new purse. Okay, whatever. Even if we just use it in the hotel room, it's just nice to have. I guess we'll see when I pack if I have room. How badly I want to bring this with me. Okay, now this is definitely going to be what I think it is. Yes! I got a boot because I just want to try it. Actually, I ordered this like two days ago, three days ago-ish. And that was when I was a little bit worse. I'm definitely walking a lot better. But... If I go to my follow-up appointment the day of our flight and my doctor's like, I am okay with you walking around, but I would prefer you in a boot. I want to try it out and see how I feel with it instead of that day kind of like feeling like rushed or trying to get one or like if he couldn't, you know, prescribe me one. So this is free returns. I'm just going to see how I feel with it. If I can walk better and faster or if it feels the same as my brace, then I'll just return this. I got the shortest one they had and it's still pretty long, but even if this makes me feel better, I can just use it like in the airports and stuff, you know? I'm gonna follow the handy dandy directions here. You know what, also I'm gonna change out of these pants because I do actually want to bring these with me or run them to the airport and I don't want to get anything on them because I don't plan on doing laundry before we leave. And you guys are blinking, so let me change your battery, do a refresh, I'll come back. Okay, much better. Back in the comfies, what a feeling. This thing is kind of crazy. It's basically like the brace I'm wearing, but got this giant boot it actually comes with these extra little pads in case there's any like gaps to make it more comfortable so let's see we're gonna open all the straps it says and by the way i'm usually like a shoe size six so i got whatever it was like six to eight or something so i got that one sometimes i'm a five and a half but i would have rathered it not be too tight you know everything is open i'm gonna take off my brace what the heck coupon that's not a coupon that's literally a sticker i don't know why i said coupon i'm gonna show you guys an update for those of you that are curious, if you don't want to see, just skip ahead a little bit. It's just bruising. It doesn't really look bad. So here's what we got going on. We have all bruising here. I got like a burn from one of the ice packs. It like when it wasn't cold anymore, it almost like stuck to my skin. So that's why I have a band-aid here. And these are just like marks from my brace. You could see I have some bruising up in my toes. And actually this side of bruising is pretty bad too. I don't know why. Look at that. But this side of my foot doesn't hurt. This isn't like the broken side. It is starting to go down. Luckily though, I do think I've gotten through the worst of it because I haven't iced my ankle really all day. I'm gonna tonight, but today I just had things to do. I've been walking around and usually it would be like really, really swollen by now and it's not. So I feel like we're making progress. <laughs> my foot is coming back to normal shape. I don't have the big golf ball on this side anymore. It just... It just is bruised and it hurts. So I think we are doing well and we've got six days till we leave. So I think I'm going to be so fine because with this much progress in just one week with a whole nother week, I think I'm going to be doing great. Oh, it's literally got a, to inflate it or deflate it. That is quite interesting. Let's just see if I can get my foot in here. Oh, okay. It fits. Oh, it's nice and snug. That feels 
lovely. It feels the best when my ankle is like compressed, you know? It feels like it's all held together. That's why I love the brace. Okay, so you slide your heel all the way back. I'm kind of hoping, like, I want to be able to walk better, but I'm almost kind of hoping that it feels the same as the brace so that I don't want to wear this giant boot thing. <laughs> it's definitely not, like, convenient. Whoa, this thing is big. Oh my goodness. You know what, though? I think I feel like I'm limping just as much. Wait, let me put on a shoe so that it's the same height, you know? It felt awkward. We're in the kitchen to do a little strut test. I'm gonna walk all the way back. Oh, another package. Okay, ready? Let's see how we can do. Oh, I'm moving quick. Watch out. I still gotta be careful, though. Ow. Okay, something needs to be adjusted because I feel a little pain. I think I need to insert one of those like cushions on the side here. Oh, it hurts though. Dad's here now, him and Zane are doing all the housework. Getting the house winterized. Yeah, but I don't know about this boot. I'm gonna mess with it. Okay, I added another cushion in it and I'm not gonna lie, I still don't like it. I don't like the way it's making my ankle feel. I feel like with the brace, I could take steps and not feel that sharp pain on the side. It's not sharp, it's like, I feel like I wanna describe it as a pain that is dull, like a butter knife, not like a sharp knife. It's very bearable, but I didn't feel it when I was taking steps, and with this, I do. So I almost feel like this is too much. It's kind of scaring me with how heavy it is. I think I'd rather the brace. So I'm glad that I tried this out, and I just feel like it's not for me. So I'm gonna do without this. Especially since my doctor said he thinks that I'm fine with a brace and I don't really need a boot, so I'm not even gonna bother. I love this brace now i have a greater appreciation for it you would think that i would feel more supported in that but for some reason i just feel so much more comfortable in this maybe it's just because i'm used to it i don't know i'm not gonna overthink it though let's not overthink it i'm already like oh my god did i just ruin all my progress <laughs> no that thing is made to make you feel good i will stick to my little ankle brace ah <sighs> so much better that literally just collected so much like fuzz too when I just tried it on so quick. That would be annoying. We're closing up the pool. I'm kind of sad, you guys. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to miss the warmth and the sunshine. I really enjoyed having a pool. It was a really, really nice summer. I feel like I definitely, though, went out there a lot and used it a lot. So I feel like grateful for that. But I wouldn't have minded a little bit longer. Okay, we've got the last three boxes of PR, I think. Kiss. Is that lashes? <gasps> oh my god. How ironic that I just tried the magnetic lashes today and I got a lash PR. <gasps> oh my god. These are the ones that I love. I literally was about to order more of them. Okay, this is exciting. I am definitely going to bring these with me on the trip. I literally ran out of them. There's so many in here. <gasps> okay, guys, this is so exciting. Oh, these are different ones. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Look, what is this? Last up to 10 days? Oh my god, we need to try this before we leave. This literally couldn't have been like better timing. This is so cool. I mean, now I have plenty of packs to keep practicing these because I was getting them like wet from my like eye and then they weren't sticking anymore. So I need to like practice more with them. And the ones that I got were natural and these are all different ones. Spiky, voluminous. <gasps> Yay! Oh my god, thank you so much, Kiss. That is so cool. I wish I would have opened that a little bit sooner. I would have tried those today instead of the magnetic ones. Both are totally different vibes though. Like when you want just like a few little lashes on the end versus like a whole strip lash like this. And since those are little pieces, they're a lot more comfortable. Like these I can feel on my eye, you know? And those were more just like a little addition. Another amazing box. I got a restock from Way, my favorite. I got my favorite hair serum. I just ran out of my bottle. I actually cracked it, but thank goodness it was empty. And I got a restock on my shampoo and conditioner. This is so nice, it's for fine hair. If you have thin hair like me, phenom. Oh, this day is just getting better and better. Okay, now literally like, what is this? Why is it such a giant box? I have no idea what this is. I also still have my rental clothes coming from this month too that we need to try on. That'll be in the next vlog. What the heck is this? I have no idea what this is. Oh, philosophy? What? Oh my god, my mom would freak. My Avon mom would freak out. Oh my god, cool. <gasps> my mom loves this brand. Oh my god, there's snacks. 
Wait, are these edible or are these for the bath? Imagine I just ate like a little mini soap, so that would actually be hysterical. Oh my god, they sent Amazing Grace. It's their new intense body collection. And this is seed paper, so you can plant it and it'll grow into a flower. This piece of paper. That's pretty cool. Here's what it looks like. This is like a beautiful PR package. Oh my goodness. Sugar Fina. That's candy, right? I want to try it. <gasps> Made in France. How fancy is this little container? I've seen this before. Sugar Fina. Never had it. All the strawberry flavor you love in one tiny treat. These adorable gummies made with real strawberry puree. Okay, I have to take a picture of this and then we're gonna try those candies. Thank you so much, Philosophy. This is so nice, beautiful. Okay, real quick, let's try these um, because I was supposed to send in a brand deal today and it like totally slipped my mind and my manager texts me like, hey, you still sending it today? I was like, it wasn't my to-do list. And then I was like, all right, let me just open all this stuff quick. But clearly I got distracted and I forgot. I should have looked at my to-do list. That is so unlike me. I've never done that before. I'm always like on top of it. Okay, let's try one of these. Mm. One thing about me is I love a gummy snack. Like gummy bears, underrated. But I don't really like sour ones though, like fruity. Let's try these. Those are pretty good too. I like the strawberry ones better though. Okay, all this mess is gonna have to wait. I gotta go edit. <laughs> I'll be back. Well, 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 look what just showed up, newly. Gonna have to wait for the next vlog. <laughs> Your girl is tapped out for today. Uh, and this mess also is gonna have to wait until tomorrow. <laughs> now let me just shoot it to you guys straight because I'm tired and hungry and this is gonna be my dinner. A box of mac and cheese with one of these air fried and cut up and put into it. We have a hella fresh meal left, but that'll be great for tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> I put some truffle seasoning on top. Sign me up. I don't think I'm gonna eat all this pasta, but you know, I was not about to get up if I wanted more, so it all went on the plate. <laughs> got some ice, I got the bear. Lovely night. Which I did. Okay, it's still Thursday, and I got like a random burst of energy slash, I was anxious thinking about this room, so I'm gonna do a quick tidy up on this. That way I can relax a little bit better, because <laughs> my brain can't right now. I do want to start packing so I'm gonna to start to make piles of things that I know I am bringing I'm gonna open up this new toothpaste pack that we got I'm gonna do green I'm gonna do purple how about that and look how cute they unfold and then it keeps it clean because it's in here isn't that adorable it's like a random off-brand toothpaste but whatever <laughs> it was convenient and I didn't have to go to the store I can Amazon it we are so excited to go away. Oh my goodness, we can't wait. Need a vacay. I went ahead and pulled a few pieces that I know I definitely want to pack. So I'm gonna start accumulating some stuff here. I'll probably start packing this weekend in the next vlog. I haven't brought the suitcase out yet because we're still prepping. I still have this newly stuff to try on. And for ease, for this weekend, I'm gonna make sure I take it all out, get it all hung up so I can film a video and try it all on. All of this stuff I got for the purpose of Italy and then it'll also help me make decisions on maybe some stuff up here that I'd rather bring some of these pieces because I only need so much you know I got a bunch of denim like if these fit me better I'll probably bring these instead of those other ones and I'll exchange them for a smaller size because the more that I think about it I'm like that gap in the waist is just not the best staple bodysuit I got a nice statement top for like a dinner all pretty neutral I'm not really wearing too much color on this trip Putting my return label on right now so I don't forget. And this is gonna go away. I also am going to, in the next few days, pull some like audios and content ideas that I want to film while I'm there. So I don't get like overwhelmed with just like a bunch of footage. I wanna have like an idea of what I wanna do. I definitely already have some options in mind. So I think we'll be good on that front. I am so excited about these pants. They had such good reviews. Those. And these, I actually got two colors in these pants because I couldn't decide. These are also really nice too. If I like these, I'm gonna buy them. They fit good because I want like a cream pant like this. I actually rented this like two years ago or so when we lived in the apartment in a different color and I loved it. It was a little big on me. So I sized down this time and I got a neutral. This is gonna be so nice. Oh, I feel so much better. Good morning guys, happy Friday. I'm all cozied up in the office. I'm just getting some ice packs ready. Every day I've kind of been switching off, like if one day is heavy on the foot, the next day I try to be, you know, a little slower on the foot. So today I need to ice and chill, which works because I'm editing today's vlog. It is a gloomy, rainy day. Very dark outside. Oh, and let me show you. And look how sad. 
summer has come to an end. Zane actually needs to go out there and fill the things they didn't get to yesterday, but... And it's raining, so hopefully this thing doesn't cave in. But so sad to see it all covered. Until next year. I do love fall, though. You see that, Benj? The pool is gone. Where'd it go? So I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. Next vlog is gonna be an unedited vlog. And then I'm leaving, so I think I'm gonna miss like two videos while I'm gone, but then once I get back, you guys are gonna get hit with so much content. But I'm prepping as much as I can, because the day you're watching this is the day that we're leaving, and then I have another video going up while we're gone too, so. At least I got some content up for you guys. Make sure you're following me on other social medias, like Instagram, TikTok. I post on Instagram stories like a crazy person. So if you wanna see in real time what we're up to in Europe, and you'll see the surprise destination that I haven't told you guys before these vlogs even come out. So I'm gonna go. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys. Stop it. My stomach just me all kinds of noises. No. No. I think I got engulfed and in, engulfed. <laughs> no. No. Where have you been? I haven't seen you in forever. Something is in my eye. I also thought the- hello? <laughs> Look at my layers of tan. Oh my god. Always throw the Cholula cap. Always.